in March of this year, we got news about Canon patenting an imaging device that was supposedly hinting at a cinema camera. Now, people have been hoping for a flagship cinema camera from Canon for many years now, and finally, we got some confirmation. So, what are these rumors, and how is Canon going to dominate the cinema industry with their upcoming products? Let's find out. Canon applied for a patent in December of last year, which suggested that device is going to be an innovative solution for multiple cable arrangement in a professional camera that will provide an imaging device capable of preventing a cable from being caught and a connector from being detached. It's actually a problem in recent cinema cameras because the number of connectors has increased. It's very hard or honestly almost impossible to arrange all the connectors on the rear side of the camera body and dispose of them on the side of the body. Canon stated that with the latest innovation, it's possible to prevent the cable from being caught and disconnected from the cable without reducing the insertion extraction property of the cable and arranging the external commanding terminals on the side of the surface in the width direction of the main body while reducing the thickness of the main body. For the last one and a half years, Canon delayed and reworked many products and it's been a couple of years since we've seen a flagship cinema camera from Canon. So, if we connect all the dots, it's pretty much confirmed that a new cinema camera is indeed coming. According to Canon rumors, we're not getting one but two cinema cameras, Canon EOS C200 Mark II and EOS C700 Mark II. C200 Mark II is going to have the same Super 3.5 DGO sensor which was featured in the EOS C300 Mark II. This sensor is capable of shooting at 4K up to 120fps and also supports cinema raw light, XFAVC and MP4 options. With a modular box design and full-size HDMI Type-A port, it'll remind you of Panasonic BS1H camera. You'll also get two SD UHS-2 slots and a multifunction hot shoe will be included for the external XLR module. Now, if you're thinking these specs are not something new or innovative and where's all the improvement and innovation that Canon was patenting, you're in for a surprise. The mighty Canon EOS C700 successor, C700 Mark II, is going to be the flagship cinema camera in the Canon's lineup. EOS C700 Mark II will feature user-swappable sensors, yes you heard that right, offering two options at launch, one with a Super 35 5K global shutter sensor and another with full-frame 8K DG rolling shutter sensor. Now if you're not familiar with these terms, we got you covered. In short, global shutter can read out the whole sensor in one go, whereas the rolling shutter reads the sensor line by line. A rolling shutter offers great speed and the cost of additional artifacts, and a global shutter gives you a more steady, realistic shot. Now, in C700 Mark II, both sensors are equipped with a direct RF mount, and you can mount EF or LPL without the need to remove the RF mount. We previously saw this type of mounting in the Sony Venice 2. Canon is also introducing two new gamma curves, Canon Log 4 which is designed for HDR production and white DR Cine for more cinematic colors straight out from the camera. There will be two CF Express Type-B and one SD card media slot in the C700 Mark II. The body design is similar to the C300 Mark II but with a bigger form factor to adjust all the extra IO terminals. The C700 Mark II will also be the most codec-heavy camera from Canon since it'll have XF AVC, ProRes and Cinema RAW light that'll be recorded internally. B-RAW and ProRes RAW can be recorded externally and a new module was developed in partnership with the RED digital camera to record RED code. With all these pieces of information, it's clear that Canon is on the right path of dominating the cinema industry. Canon is trying to find a way to feed a cinema camera correctly and without the risk of disconnecting cables. If you look at the padded drawings, it seems like a refined version of the C700 which is Canon's flagship. Swappable sensors are something people have hoped for for so many years. Mainstream cameras usually don't try to implement this feature because it's not that important for still photography. But to have that option in such a capable cinema camera is a huge perk. Canon is also bringing the full-frame DGO sensor finally in the camera. If Canon can pull up this camera just like the rumor specs, the C700 Mark II will surpass Sony or other cinema camera manufacturers and directly compete with the RE. 
EOS C200 Mark II will be more focused on the budget segment. Canon EOS C200 Mark II and EOS C700 Mark II are rumored to be announced in 2023. So, this was all about Canon's upcoming cinema cameras. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below.